The violin has two different ways of being tuned. We've got pegs down here. There are adjusters or fine tuners up at this end. So on my violin, I've just got the one for the E string. And on some instruments, you'll have four all together, one on each string. So on this one, you've got those four adjusters, one on each string. So with these, like that which is quite a lot easier. The pegs are slightly harder um, and you sometimes need to be quite strong for some, some instruments but so essentially once you've got one string into you um, you know from the pitch comparing that one string against the other strings whether you're in tune or not. When a fifth, which is what the violin's tuned in, when it isn't quite in tune, you get these massive great sound waves going on. Let me show you. So if you can hear, there's these massive great sound waves really shouting at you saying, this is horrible. And as you get it in tune, the fifth becomes much purer. So the, the purer the fifth, the more in tune the instrument is. So that's a fairly in tune violin. Some composers then will write pieces of music with scoditura, which is where you'll have the violin tuned at slightly different pitches. And the violin finds it quite difficult to deal with that because it's so used to being tuned in the fifths. And then you get some composers like Schnitke, um, who he has a violin duo called Mozart alle Haydn. And the, viol the second violinist gets to play tunes with the G string peg. So you'll get things like. <laughs> Hopefully it stays once you've seen it again.